welcome to Interview, a production of the Government Information Service. I am John B. St. Joseph. The 10th anniversary of the Caribbean Youth Film Festival took place in August 2022. This milestone marks 10 years of providing a platform for young creatives to explore their potential by providing workshops, webinars, and exercises in filmmaking with supplementary workshops for nurturing their soft skills. And here today I'm joined by Mr. Colin Weeks, who is the director of the festival, mm -hmm. and the past participant of the festival, Mr. Imran Sam Bryce, and they're here to tell us all about the film festival, its history, as well as this milestone of the 10th anniversary. Mm -hmm. So first of all, gentlemen, thank you for joining me today. Yeah, thanks for having us. Yeah. Great. So let's start with you, Colin. Let's give us a little brief history about the film festival. When did it first begin? And what was um, your idea about getting this film mm -hmm. festival together? Okay. Well, um, the festival started off in 2012. Um, that was the first year. Obviously, it's the 10th year. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but two years prior to that, mm -hmm. I, I shopped it around when I came back from England from school. Okay. Um, and I, the reason why it, I thought it was a, a good opportunity for St. Lucia and for, for young filmmakers and, and people getting in the industry is because I too had a stint at the Rain Dance Film Festival mm -hmm. in London. And um, I just saw the potential of what it did in terms of um, the workshops and how you, know, you encourage uh, groups to come together and that community base, you know, to mm -hmm. grow that, that industry. Mm -hmm. So I, I thought it would be a good idea to, to introduce young people and even young professionals in the industry, give them that platform where, where again, we could come together as a unit, as a community and, and discuss, have, have workshops, have discussions on, on different aspects of filmmaking. Mm -hmm. And um, so as I said, I shopped it around a little bit. And as usual, you know, it's a cre I don't know if it's just because it's a creative thing, but mm -hmm. you know, it was it was very much closed doors okay. <laughs> for yeah, two yeah, years, know, yeah. trying to convince people that this is something that should happen. Mm -hmm. And um, I just decided, you know what, I'm going to do it. Mm -hmm. um, as I said, uh, whether it be two participants, three participants, I'm just going to start. Mm -hmm. And and that and that was the birth of it, really. I, I okay. just started. I, I just and I think it was a good example in terms of. Um, a good model for just filmmaking, mm -hmm. basically, mm -hmm. because sometimes people don't always see your vision, right. and you just have to go at it. And, right. and, and I guess the filmmaker in me had, had that resilience okay. to say, I'm going to do it. Right. And, and hence, I just started, and, and 10 years later, I remember on the first year saying, um, hope to see you in, on the 10th year, and here we are now. So I'm, yeah, I'm happy okay. we got to that milestone. Yeah. Okay, all right. Now, I know that along the way you got like governmental agencies and other people involved. How, did, how were you able to, to get them? I mean, I, as you said, mm -hmm. you started no matter what. So in other words, you started to actually give them an example of this is what exactly. I wish to attain and yeah. this is what I'm going to do. Yeah. But I mean, it, was it just a case of that when they saw the example of what you were achieving? That's when people came on board? Yeah, I think very much so. And I must, um, at, that, at this point, to say that um, Ambassador June Sumam had an integral part in, in terms of giving it that platform. Okay. Um, she um, the, the, she kind of saw the vision, mm -hmm. and she encouraged me. We went to different agencies, mm -hmm. especially embassies. Um, I shopped it around at the, all the embassies with her. Uh, Mexico, Mexican embassy, Brazilian mm -hmm. embassy, mm -hmm. and I, I think it, it again the, it, it propelled after that, where, where different government agencies now started to see the potential of it, and and just the participation, mm -hmm. you know, people, young filmmakers started participating, young um, potential filmmakers too mm -hmm. started um, participating, and it just, it just grew. So once once the the growth is there uh, again, as they say, if you build it, they will come. Yeah, so yeah. you know that's basically what happened. We mm -hmm. just started getting a following from all aspects, from corporate St. Lucia, mm -hmm. from from government, from different agencies, and yeah, it, it just grew from there. Okay, all right. Now I want to go to Imran, but before I do, mm -hmm. I just want to say because like ten years is a long time. Mm -hmm. A lot of people, a lot of projects get off the ground, mm -hmm. but they do not see it through. That what do you think has kept the film festival being able to go for so long? Hmm, good question. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just think it's, it's being resilient, I think. Uh, me just saying, I'm going to do it mm -hmm. every year. And, mm -hmm. and, and I mean, it took, it took a different um, formats too. Okay. Um, in the early days, we, we tried to have it during the Easter break. Mm -hmm. That didn't work out as, as well because it was kind of short of a period and other things were happening. So it, it moved to the summer. Mm -hmm. um, and even after that too, that just trying to get the, with, with 
people trying to get young people to create firms out of that mm -hmm. that didn't really happen the way i thought it would have happened right. so we started concentrating a lot more on the workshops mm -hmm. and that was a lot more received mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. so we we went in that direction for the latter part of the years mm -hmm. and um yeah it it, it just you kind of have to tweak and turn a little bit in terms of to make it, it yeah. make it happen. Yeah. So yeah. you have to realize yeah. that, okay, this is not working, this is working, let's mm -hmm. go with this, let's t approach this one. Mm -hmm. And the other thing that we did too, to allow it to survive, is to attach different themes to it. Okay. So every year we would attach a different theme. For example, one year we did on, on waste management, okay. we did on child abuse. Mm -hmm. So we would allow them to create firms on, on those on those themes mm -hmm. and, I, and and again speaking to agencies mm -hmm. so now i could approach a, a agency and say hey the topic for this summer um festival this yeah. film festival is is on x yeah. and, and hence target um you know the agencies that would be receptive to to that aspect so okay. so that in itself allowed it to rather than just having a, a, a plain um, um, canvas and just, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So we, if you target different aspects of it. And again, that's filmmaking, eh? Yeah. We, we, see, we, see the, we see a lot of the blockbusters, but I, I think what a, a lot of young filmmakers don't realize that really and truly we should be looking at very specific target audiences yeah, yeah. in order to, to produce your film. So, mm -hmm. yeah, you want to be the Hollywood, big Hollywood star, but mm -hmm. there are thousands of films. Yeah. Yeah. that target specific audiences mm -hmm. so why not do a film on on exercising mm -hmm, and, mm -hmm. and 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 target you know that group why yeah, not yeah. do a film on on cooking and ex <laughs> you know I so, so yeah. rather than yeah. looking at oh yeah, i want to create this big book, uh, block, uh, mm -hmm. blockbuster mm -hmm. it's not gonna happen yeah, honestly yeah. it's not yeah. gonna happen yeah. we're talking yeah. one in a million or one in ten thousand that's gonna yeah. happen so what yeah. what happens there do you mm -hmm. not work do mm -hmm. you not so mm -hmm. you have to look at the, your niche markets yeah. and that's basically what we we did with the film festival to, okay. to see yeah all right brilliant now imran coming to you you are a past participant of the film festival. When did you actually um, take part in the festival? I think the first year I partook in the film festival was 2017, I think okay. it was. Okay. Yeah, I, I can't yeah. remember. <laughs> 2017 or 2018. Okay. But yeah, right. yeah, I submitted the film Secure, which was my first short film. Okay. And I made it just in time for the festival. Yeah. And yeah. I actually got a Best Director and oh, second wow. place overall. Okay. In the, uh, film festival, yeah. Okay, brilliant. Now tell me a little bit about what you actually did because I mean the festival is not about just you know taking part and and submitting things, but there actually are workshops and such like. Okay. Tell me a little bit about that. Yeah, the workshops were a huge benefit to me as right. a young filmmaker. Mm -hmm. We got two producers from uh, the UK to come in and we went to film sets in Derry so to mm -hmm. see Matthew and Emmanuel's films, you know, stuff mm -hmm. being shot. We got to see it in action. Okay. And being amongst that crowd and being able to ask these producers questions and mm -hmm. stuff, it really did help me in, you know, figuring out, okay, what am I going to do for my film that I'm going to be shooting in a few weeks? Yeah. You know, even though workshops at Boss Asia, it's just been like a great mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like learning experience for me starting off. Okay, brilliant. All right. What did, what, may I ask what, what kind of, did you follow the profession? Did you carry on behind the camera and, and, and directing and such like? Yeah, of course, of course. Okay. <laughs> I actually started off writing and okay. then I eventually made my short film and then I went on to make two more after that. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, one of which has been shown in Trinidad mm -hmm. and I've since been doing filmmaking in various forms. Mm -hmm. I don't do short films as much now, but okay. I do more corporate stuff, you know, commercials, right. promotional videos, that kind of thing. So, okay. yeah, right. I'm still very much involved in the field. Okay, and do you, yeah. would you say that a lot of um, what you learned during the festival had an impact on, on you deciding to stay in the field as well, as well as uh, you mm -hmm. can see you're using some of the skills learned during that time still today? Yeah, of course. A lot of, in fact, a lot of the things that I've learned mm -hmm. during the film festival period when I first started participating, mm -hmm. I'm still using today. Mm -hmm. So learning to speak to actors is, is a similar skill that I carry on when I'm doing commercials. Okay. Directing actors to, you know, hold a glass this way or do a certain action in that way. Like yeah. just the experience of having to work with others and being a part of the workshops has really mm -hmm. carried on into the career that I have now. Okay, you're a great endorsement for the festival, I must say. Because <laughs> I mean, I, and then, I mean in, in saying that, is, there, is, is that something that you do? Do you actually, um, if a young person comes to you and tells you, you know, they think they want to take this direction, mm -hmm. do you actually tell them, hey, maybe look up Mr. Weeks and he might be able to, you know what I mean? Yeah, of course, of course. Yeah. Every year, yeah. I mean, we know it's a, 
it's been going on for 10 years like you mm -hmm, know as we've mm -hmm. established already and mm -hmm. it's something that always comes to my mind immediately when someone says hey you know i want to start filmmaking yeah and i'm like yeah there's the caribbean youth film festival you mm -hmm. know it's a regional festival mm -hmm. it's not just a local festival but mm -hmm. you know you can take part in it go to mm -hmm. the workshops now i mean up to recently i saw other young filmmakers being a part of the workshops in town you know right. doing their thing with their cameras and so on so mm -hmm. it's still very much alive and i think it's still very much a good training ground for people looking to get into that field okay all right colin i've known you for a long time now and i know that um working with the youth is something that you feel as a very important thing that you need to do how does it feel when you see someone who has come out of your film festival that is making strides like him um honestly it it, it is it is something that it is that that passion that I always had mm -hmm. um, and, and it, it is always very very fruitful to see mm -hmm. that again people like Imran and I could name a few others mm -hmm. um, who have carried on and um, I don't take it too personal to be honest with you okay. uh, I, I just I'm just happy that that they, they're able to to move on on okay. to on to so it's not like I pat myself on the yeah, back yes. or anything mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. um, but I, I, I'm proud of who they have become. Right. So I don't yeah. take so much credit for mm -hmm. it. I just, mm -hmm. I, just, I, I just want to know that I'm that beacon that, that allow them to, to excel in, 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 right. and, and reach their own potential. Mm -hmm. Because again, it has a lot to do with the, the, your own person. If you don't mm -hmm. have that drive and that talent and that everything, mm -hmm. I mean, all I could do is just hold your hand. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's up to you after that. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, you know, at the end of the day, I'm, I'm just happy that they're doing well. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, in, in terms of, of others who have, have, have gone on and done other things, in fact, I, I try to also look at talent, mm -hmm. unique talent within. Mm -hmm. And as Imran said, that he started off writing, and I saw that potential too. So even I was writing um other storyline for a feature film mm -hmm. and um i spoke to mcdonald dixon about it and he he penned it and um i brought imran on okay so he also is a cool writer of that project okay, so cool. i i always try to use mm -hmm. um students from the the film festival and so mm -hmm. forth to get them to into other stuff mm -hmm. last year um i did um 100 degrees of covid which is a, mm -hmm. a, a a series on on covid mm -hmm. and um half of the crew was people from the film festival oh really yeah okay brilliant. so the, the okay. writer two of the writers were people from the film festival mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um the the, the um the hands-on mm -hmm. people were uh, you know so yeah, yeah i, I yeah. use them all the time i try okay. to get them involved as much as possible okay yeah. all right no problems mm -hmm. now i know that as well for the the, the 10th anniversary um can this kind of um, um leads on to that because for the 10th anniversary i believe you're like paying homage to um past participants mm -hmm. right where did that rationale come to from to, to actually do that for the 10th anniversary well again it that's what the festival is about it's mm -hmm. about um getting young people to have that platform so the rest of the world could see them. Mm -hmm. So e again, the, the 10th anniversary is about them. It's not right. about me. <laughs> okay, so it's, it's, about, yeah. it's about honoring them yeah, and honoring yeah. those who have gone through the mm -hmm. festival and who have continued, like Imran, who have mm -hmm. continued and doing fairly well in the industry. Okay. I mean, one of the proud moments I must say for myself is that um, young people who have come in and parents specifically mm -hmm. who have said no i don't like to get into that that you know because okay, it's yeah. again looking yeah. at the industry yes, you yes. know who wants a child to become an mm -hmm, actor mm -hmm. and, and, and so forth a writer mm -hmm. you know i want my child to be a lawyer and my child yeah, to be a doctor yeah. and um after the festival what the the output of it and and what the 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 joy they see on the child's face mm -hmm. and, and the passion that comes out of it mm -hmm. I have a number of students who have gone on again to go to university and who are doing well. Again, yeah. I could speak of J Jelani Paul, mm -hmm. who is who worked at M um, MTV afterwards. Okay. You know, so you have guys who have yeah. passed through the ranks and have mm -hmm. done well, and only because again the festival have given them that, that platform. So that I'm pretty proud of. Okay, yeah. brilliant. Okay, well, right now, however, it's time for us to have a short break. However, we will be back in a moment. Stay tuned. Okay. I'm so fed up with my 14-year-old child. She's driving me crazy. I just don't know what to do. All that child need is some good licks to wake up. Alice, ignore the counseling Pansy is giving. 
Government employees have free access to professional counseling services under the Employee Assistance Program, known as EAP. EAP? EAP? What's that? Uh, not me that telling people my business. Listen to me, Alice. I was struggling with my child. I made an appointment to see an EAP counselor, and I was very satisfied with the service that I received. And you know what? Up to a day like today, my information remains confidential. Cox, how come nobody in the office knew anything about your counseling? Ah, that's because EAP counselors, they work on the strict clauses of confidentiality. I know you know what confidential means. Eh, uh -uh. EAP providing professional counseling services? How much is it? Girl, the counseling is free. Free for you, free for your child. And you know what? Your information remains confidential. Call the EAP unit at the Ministry of the Public Service. Telephone number 468-2269 for more information. EAP works. Let it work for you. Welcome back. Now I am here today with Mr. Colin Weeks of the Caribbean Youth Film Festival and the past participant, Mr. Imran Sembrice, and they're telling me all about the 10th anniversary. Um, I, I read some, there was a, something that you gave me that said that about a thousand youths have actually passed through the festival. Mm -hmm. That's a lot of people. Yeah. <laughs> that is a lot of people. Yeah. What, how do you, I mean, you, you kind of um, touched on it before, but how do you keep the festival fresh in the sense of technologies are always changing and such like? Do you make sure you implement things that can relate to the young people that are coming up now? How do you do that? How do you, you know? Uh, definitely. Um well, what, again, what we do mm -hmm. every year is mm -hmm. we try to introduce new tutors into okay. the workshops. Okay. So, again, fresh minds, right. fresh ideas, and mm -hmm. so forth. Mm -hmm. And, again, I'm, I'm always just proud of, of, of those I see coming back. For example, right. Al Wally, okay. um, who, have, who have taught mm -hmm. editing mm -hmm. in, the, in the workshops. Julius, mm -hmm. um, who have taught. And, and that's guys, again, who worked with me. Right. In the early 2000s, yeah, well, yeah. worked with us. Yes, yes, <laughs> worked with us in the yeah. early 2000s. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so again, that's, that, was, that was young guys who yeah. came into the industry, and 20 years later, they're there, and now mm -hmm. they could actually teach. Mm -hmm. And even somebody like um, Al Wally, who, mm -hmm. who has gone and, and, and certified himself, you know, in a number of uh, Adobe um, products, you mm -hmm. know, in terms of the editing software and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. So it's, again, it's not about, about just staying still, mm -hmm. but evolving. So you have to evolve with the times. And that's right. what we try to encourage mm -hmm. to that. Okay, today, yeah, technology is this, mm -hmm. but tomorrow it will change. However, the foundation will always be there because okay. the principle of filmmaking will always remain the same, even yeah. though the technology changes. Yeah. It's up to you to, to move with it. Okay. Um, so we try to introduce them to to new ideas every year. Mm -hmm. um, for example, last year I was introduced to a, a fantastic makeup artist, okay. um, Ziggy, mm -hmm. who does um, effect makeup and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. and, and I didn't even know that talent was in St. Lucia. <laughs> right, right. You know, so, and, and just the work that came out of that, it was totally exciting for me because, mm -hmm. again, I mean, she would do a bruise on your hand and you would think that it's actually it's a, a bruise, wow. <laughs> you know, just with okay. makeup. That's cool. um, so. You know, you, you get that talent coming out all the time, and we try mm -hmm. to keep it, as you said, we just try to keep it fresh as much as possible. Mm -hmm. Okay, yes. all right. Imran, if I could just go back to you just for a little while. Sure. Um, you were talking to me about like, what you're doing now. Mm. As a, a person, again, that, that came out, that, as a young person, anyway, who just has, has a lot of, um, I don't know, you, the, the things that you want to achieve, what yeah. do you see as what you want your future achievements to be? Do you really want to stay in the industry, that kind of thing? Yeah, for sure. For okay. Sure. I mean, this is the plan A and the plan B. Okay. You know? <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's something that I definitely plan on continuing. And it's uh, the stuff that you do now, I mean, not just for me, but for anybody else. The stuff you do now mm -hmm. is a long-term investment, even right. if you may not realize it at first. Yeah. But if you decide that, okay, this is what you want to do, and I've decided that, mm -hmm. then, you know, it's really fulfilling in the long run. Mm -hmm. You know, it's mm -hmm. something that can take you anywhere. You can, mm -hmm. yeah, have a really fulfilling career in this okay. industry. Again, okay. just piggybacking on, on what Imran said, which yeah. something just came to mind. It's the same thing that when, when I was at school, mm -hmm. um, 15 years old, even before that, mm -hmm. I knew what I wanted to do. But right. we're talking way back in the 80s here. It was very primitive times. Yeah. What do you do when mm -hmm. you get out of school? Mm -hmm. But you have, to, you, know, you have to think of, hey, that, that is the goal. Yeah. So even with the film festival, that was one of the, the, the 
I would say the platforms for, for me doing this too because mm -hmm. um, what when I came out of school I, I did not have that, that base anywhere yeah. to go to to mm -hmm. even look at the w my, my future right. um, so I wanted to introduce that at an early age mm -hmm. for young people mm -hmm. so yes you, you do have to to think of it as that long term yeah, goal yeah, yeah. and keep at it, you yes, know? Yeah, because yeah. 30 yeah. years later, mm -hmm. I'm still doing this. Yeah, you but, know and that's I mean? highly important because sometimes when you're, you're young like that and you see there's no avenues you can take, um, that can just, you know, that's just yep. squash your dreams even before exactly. you start. I'm so I think something like that is yeah. really important. Yeah, yeah exactly. You yeah. know, so, so you have to yeah. know that it's something that you passionate about and you mm -hmm. want to do and you mm -hmm. yeah, okay continue. now we touched on it a bit before Colin but I know that there are some agencies that you have actually worked with mm -hmm. um, can you just tell us and give some insight into who the people are that came on board yeah I'm, I'm really pleased that we have been able to attract you know a number of good um, um, organizations mm -hmm. and other regional bodies international bodies to right. be part of it um, in the past we have worked with the October 1st out of out of New York Again, as I said, Rain Dance is always a, a good partner for us. Mm -hmm. um, Film T, T, sorry, is 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 there and part of of, of, of what we do too. Um, yeah, and, and even regionally too, in terms of, of um, uh, one of one of my my high points, I must say, is mm -hmm. that when I got contacted by the U.S. Embassy, mm -hmm. um, and they wanted me to work with them because mm -hmm. of what they saw I was doing, okay. and and and. Yeah, so <laughs> as yeah, I said, that, that, okay. was, that was one of the high points because yeah. I was like, okay, yeah. you're on the right track, yes. <laughs> you know, yeah. um, right. when people like that start to notice your work. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, so people like that in terms of working with them and individuals too, you know, working mm -hmm. with people like um, Errol Fabian, um, Sobers out of Dominica, right. um, and again, well, on the, on the local scale that we have worked with, with mm -hmm. you know, a number of, of people. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, and, and agencies, uh, Lucilek has always been a partner for us for a number of years right. and I would personally like to say thank you Lucilek for being there all those years. Mm -hmm. um, well, the government has always supported us in terms of creative industries and the different agents um, and ministries there also okay. have supported us. So mm -hmm. yeah we have had a fairly good crop of, of, of corporate and agencies that who have worked with us and yeah, yeah we're happy that we're somehow doing it to make them come back and continue with yeah. this. That's good. That's really good. Yeah. Okay, brilliant. Um, again, 10th anniversary. I know that some of the, um, the, the, the activities have actually taken place already, mm -hmm. but there's actually still more to come, right? Yeah. So let, to give us a bit of insight about what's actually happening this year. Right, great. So this year, what we decided to do was to break it down into two aspects. So usually, right after the workshops, we mm -hmm. would have a little award ceremony mm -hmm. and, and, and give them certificates and so forth. Uh, but because of the 10th anniversary, I said, okay, let's make this bigger. Okay. So we're hoping to be part of the calendar for Heritage Month. Okay. And, and so we could have, be, again, um, have a bigger showcase, yeah. screen some films island-wide. Mm -hmm. So we could have a screening in, in, in mm -hmm. Grosile, have it mm -hmm. in view for it, you mm -hmm. know, that type of thing. Mm -hmm. um, so we're hoping to do that. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but just have a big gala um, award ceremony and really just highlight the festival okay. and, and as I said it, it is all about them so give them the platform you know give them the the notoriety that they, mm -hmm. they deserve in terms of, mm -hmm. of of letting the world see them yeah so that's that's where we are with it for this mm -hmm. year we just want to give it that big push as much as possible okay yeah. All right, cool. Now, where exactly is, is the award ceremony supposed to be taking place? Well, we're currently looking at the end of October, but I suspect it might be early November because okay. of the way the calendar is so tight. All right. Okay. So we, we're currently speaking to, to um, the different agencies right mm -hmm. now. Mm -hmm. um, folk research and we're speaking to creative industries to mm -hmm. see when, how we could fit into the calendar. Okay. Um, but we're hoping, we're hoping that we are part of it. Okay, mm -hmm. brilliant. Now, it's nearly time for us to wrap up. The time's nearly, um, uh, this has really come up on us. However, I just wanted to also um, just mention Cut TV. You have actually different enterprises, different things that have come yeah. out of the film festival. Yeah, Tell me about how that has evolved. Well, again, it, it is exactly as you said. It, mm -hmm. it, things evolve out of it because yeah. of... of, of wanting to do other things and right. make it, it so we created cut tv um it's a website that right. that 
uh, that will showcase the films that have been part of the thing and just to mm -hmm. continue updating information so anything ha new is happening we put it on cut tv just for people to to see it and, and so forth um we even had an independence film festival for two years okay. that didn't work out well enough because mm -hmm. of support we never okay. could have gotten to, onto that calendar so mm -hmm. hopefully we could get back there again mm -hmm. um then we we i have a, a very active whatsapp group with mm -hmm. a, a number of, of filmmakers in there mm -hmm. young filmmakers so i continuously post stuff on there the okay. facebook page obviously so okay. we we just try to keep on a daily basis things happening just keep that community go and keep everybody informed with who is okay. doing what and try to get mm -hmm. them to collaborate too mm -hmm. you know and 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 what mm -hmm. i've noticed over the years too which i'm very pleased with is that a lot of those young people have become very good friends okay you know so they they, nice. they're excited to be together yeah. they work together yeah. they have that camaraderie mm -hmm. you know so it's it's that's basically that's what the festival is supposed to do okay. so it's doing it so i'm happy about that <laughs> that's brilliant that's brilliant and Iman, before we leave uh, any words that you would like to say about the film festival at all um yeah i mean it's been such a good influence on my career right. and my life as a filmmaker now mm -hmm. so i would encourage anybody else who's even thinking of getting into that field i mean it's not just you know the person holding the camera or the person in front of the camera like colin mentioned right. there are makeup artists who can get into this kind of industry mm -hmm. you know and mm -hmm. provide their work so that you know others can benefit from it and yeah, yeah. there's a lot of different fields within the filmmaking industry that yeah. many people can get into and i mean yeah. locally the caribbean youth film festival is a place for that okay you know? brilliant okay yeah. Well, thank you both for joining me. Colin, I don't know if you have any last words you want uh, to add. Um, I just want to thank everybody for being part of this festival for mm -hmm. the past 10 years and allowing my little dream to, to you know, <laughs> excel to, to what it is today. I mean, we could do so much more. Um, I still think there's a stigma about the creative industry yeah. period, not yeah. just filmmaking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, I would like to hope that I'm, I'm some kind of example as to when a child is has a creative mind and doesn't want to go and work in a bank yeah. that that you know shun upon mm -hmm. because i trust me i i would never see myself i just couldn't i just couldn't see myself doing that yes. job you know yeah. and, and, mm -hmm. and you have to understand that you you know that yeah. that parents do and the, th the funny thing about it is again where the world has evolved into that type of of, of lifestyle in mm -hmm. terms of the, it is so accessible in terms of on your on your phone and your this right. and, yeah. and now you have the TikToks and so many mm -hmm. avenues mm -hmm. and you it's still shun upon. Mm -hmm. I, I just don't understand that. Yeah. You know, why are you yeah. still looking at the conventional way of of yeah. of, 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 of of a living? Yes. Um, yeah. You know, uh, uh, as I said, I've never done anything else in my life, and mm -hmm. I'm here today still. Yeah. You know, I basically yeah. raised a family and everything, and, mm -hmm. and, and you know, proud mm -hmm. grandfather now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, you know, I'm, I'm done pretty well as a creative, and mm -hmm. I would like to, um, um, upcoming young people to understand there is a platform for this. You could make a living, you could, but again, it's a discipline. You have yeah. to be disciplined. You have to yeah. wake up every day yeah. and say, I'm doing it. You, it, it cannot be. Oh, I'll do it tomorrow. Or yeah. I don't think the mood. Or yeah. I feel like, yeah. you know, you yeah. have to be yeah. at it. You, yeah. you, you know, you have to want to. You mm -hmm. must want it. Brilliant. Or else it will leave you behind. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you both for joining me here today. And thank you, everybody out there, for tuning in to interview as usual. Do stay tuned to the National Television Network. However, for now, this is Jolene B. Set Joseph saying bye-bye. <laughs>